Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to try something here. So it's a little bit of an experiment and it's always good to try stuff even when it doesn't work because you can then kind of learn and move on. So what we're going to do is we're going to break up the curve into sections here just by popping onto the quarter points there. Then the idea is let's put a little S curve into each one and see if we can get some sort of like contrast in the different ranges. So if I pull this up and pull this down there, and pull this up and pull this down here, here, and pull this up and pull this down here, and pull this up. So I've got lots of lessies going along there. So I've got like a ripple all the way going down the curve. So let's have a look at the before and after. So before and after, before, after. It's changed it, but I don't know if it's changed it for the better. So let's try another slightly similar experiment. And just put curves in again. And what we'll do is we'll go to like shadows and highlights. So we'll put one actually in the middle of each square here. So what we've got here is this is the blacks, the shadows, the midtones, the highlights, and the whites. So we'll put the S curve just into the shadows, so we we'll increase contrast of shadows, hopefully increase contrast of the midtones, and how about this, we increase the contrast in the whites. So let's try that before and after. Before and after, before and after. Again, I'm not so sure what's happening, if it's any benefit. A reason for this is if I reset this and actually show it on just an ordinary one, so I'm just going to get a, a that sort of seems better, but why is this better? And it's because if I exaggerate it more, you can see here, when you increase the, the gradient, the slope, so this is going steeper uphill, then that's when contrast is increasing. But down here, then, and up here, You've actually flattened the curve. You're paying for the contrast here by taking away contrast here. So when you're doing that ripple, actually what you're doing is you are putting contrast in some areas but taking it away in other areas and you're not targeting it. So what we'll do is let's try a bit more targeted work. And the way to do that was with the picker. So I click on the tick picker and I can actually click on any area, click and drag and it'll put a point on the curve where that is. So let's make that bright area brighter. But the, in the dark area next to it, let's bring that down. So you can then see that across that area there, just looking where I took it along the edge of this cloud, before and after. See, I'm, I'm increasing the, the contrast there. See if I can find some other areas. I don't want to do something on top of this, so maybe somewhere else in the picture. How about in the window here? So I'll click on there, and let's see that the point appears on the curve. And if I can now pull that down, I'm darkening the windows there. Then I go to the building outside here, click on that, and drag that up. And that's pulling that up, and that's making that a lot more contrast here. So let's do a before and after there. See, before and after, so I put increased contrast in there. What about else? Well, yeah, the, I got a bit too much white in the fountain there, so I can click on that and bring that down a bit. You can see that's that point up there. Um, where else? This down here is getting a little bit on the dark side. Can I bring that up a bit? So I've got to watch out here and look at the curve here. When I move it, I'm it's moving quite sharply, but it's also pushing the rest of the curve. So you've got to watch what happens. So in this case, it's not going to help a great deal. So I right click that point. But if I want to make the, the blacks a little bit greyer, I can do that by pulling this just up a bit. And that will just take a little bit out of those blacks. So you can see by selecting points, you can increase the contrast in specific areas. You can't do too many in a picture, but you can end up with a nice sort of ripply curve here if you're getting the right points. And if a point doesn't work, just right click it to get rid of it. 
and then try somewhere else. Anyway, that's it, and thank you very much for watching.